Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a different one today. <clears throat> this is my bead LX85. I got this during the height of the pandemic. Uh, at the time, all I had was a Star Adventurer 2i Pro. And it was great, but I was starting to get into slightly bigger telescopes. Um, I bought a 72 EDR, and by the time you stacked the guide scope and, and everything else that goes with it, camera, all that accoutrement, it got to the point where it was just too heavy for a Pro 2i, and I decided to get something a little bigger. Unfortunately, it was in the middle of the pandemic, uh, a couple months in, and it was just a horrible time to buy anything, anything at all, having to do with astrophotography. Uh, especially mounts and I did try to get like uh, EQ35 I tried to get uh, um, uh, you know any of the smaller Skywatcher stuff because I had pretty good luck with the Skywatcher and just nothing there was nothing out there High Point had this guy uh, pretty much on sale for like 800 bucks and I bought it uh, I didn't you know like everything in astrophotography until you know better you don't know any better and uh, I didn't know any better. So Mead, I mean, it's a, it's that old name that's there constantly. Everybody knows it, um, but that doesn't mean it's great. So this mount has always been inaccurate. Um, it points basically where it wants to. Um, it kind of has a go-to function works a bit um, and about eight nine months into owning this thing the RA drive went completely haywire I mean it just didn't work it worked intermittently it was really jerky uh, I mean it was like eh, 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 and it just it wasn't it wasn't working so I sent it back uh, I sent it to California they sent it to Mexico they had it for months um, I finally got it back. It worked, but it sounds like a gravel truck going down the road or a truck on a gravel road. I mean, it's, it's horrible. Um, and now I'm having a problem with the deck. Uh, after I do an alignment, the deck stops working completely. So no go to in deck. Uh, I have to manually put it where it wants to go and it won't correct in deck. Um, and it's been sitting since about March. Uh, right now it's October and I just haven't used it. I've got uh, EQ6R Pro um, and I've still got my Star Adventure and those two uh, get most of the duty anymore anyway. Um, but this summer has been really bad cloud-wise and I just haven't done anything with anything. So I have not imaged since May. Um, but this guy here, uh, I just... I, can't do it. I, I, I can't send it back. It's way out of warranty now. Um, and it just doesn't work. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, when I was setting it all up, I, I just wanted to set it up just to show you guys how it sounded. And so I'm just going to turn this on when it gets done initializing. I'm just going to run it to something, anything. There, it's easy alignment mode. You hear that? So it's supposed to be going to serious right now. But I mean, do you hear that? It's horrible. I can hear this in my house when it's outside, like doing a mer meridian flip or something. I, I'm in my house and I can hear it. It's like, oh yeah, it's doing a meridian flip. This is ridiculously loud. Okay, that's actually in about, that's about where Sirius is tonight, or that night. But so that's not bad. So I'm gonna hit enter. Now it's gonna go to Regulus. This is, it's not doing anything, obviously, but I just want to see. 
Okay, everything's still working, so grinding away. Watch it's gonna work this time. Alright, cool. So I'm gonna hit enter. Alright, so I finally got it to go to something. It's having a flip, and I'm sure you guys can hear this. I hope it's seven minutes back. Sorry about my little phone here. <laughs> oh, cool. So anyway, it's actually working right now, um, but wildly, uh, and I don't know how accurate it is because it's you know, noon on a Saturday, cloudy. Um, I can tell you it's probably not far off where it's supposed to be right now, and it's everything seems to be working. It's just loud. It, it's actually making a ticking noise. Pretty hard. As it's just tracking sidereally. Um, anyway, Cure. I uh, found a company called Astro Gadget. They're out of Kharkiv, Ukraine. He's in the middle of a war still making gadgets for us Astro people. And it's, uh, it's impressive. Um, anyway, I got a package from Ukraine the other day and it contains two new motors, a new brain, uh, new everything. It's belt drive uh, and it uses sync scan technology so it'll work with everything. Um, I'm gonna put it on and we'll see how it goes. Uh, no instructions like everything Astro, zero instructions, um, not even a hint. There's a picture and the brackets and stuff that I got are different than the brackets and stuff in the picture. So, yay. Um, and hopefully this is just not one of those things that's, uh, if you need instructions, you shouldn't be doing it. Um, I'm hoping it's kind of intuitive, um, we'll see because you know I'm just lovely and happy when I get frustrated because stuff doesn't work and uh, hopefully I won't be throwing this across the room um, meanwhile kick back enjoy uh, I'll try to edit it so that it's kind of tight on time um, I have no idea what I'm in for I do have my buddy who's done one of these uh, he's got an LX75 instead of an 85, um, which was the non-computerized, just tracking mount. Um, and the same kit works on his just fine. His brackets are a little bit different than mine as well. Um, so I do have a go-to if I get hopelessly buried in muck and mire. Um, we'll see. See where it goes. So this is the package I got from Ukraine, and it has all of the bits and parts. So there's my my controller wiring, random metal styrofoam, a couple of big bolts, three random. Allen keys, a couple of pulleys, two motors, and a new brain. So build quality here, utterly just fabulous. Um, this guy was 
holding the motor assembly, which is this guy. We had one stripped out uh, bolt in or screw in the motor assembly that I had to use an easy out on and try to find an easy out for a screw that size. Yeah, I had to make it. Um, this guy has two stripped out screws from the factory. This was the brass gear that was on top of the motor. Uh, this guy came right off. This was the assembly that went on here. And this screw controls the gears inside the machine. Um, but yeah, so I'm an hour in. Uh, and I've only gotten this much disassembled. I mean, yuck. So I have two different size screws in here. Same size screw, but different Allen size. I find that really, really odd. So this is probably a byproduct of when Mead worked on it, but these two Allen screws are completely different sizes. I haven't loaded any of the software into my computer yet. I just want to check for function. Um, got a 12 volt power supply from the old Mead. Mediocre. And um, so there's a controller, this little guy. Uh, I don't see a port for it, so I'm guessing it's the ST4 port. And uh, let's turn it on. Oops. I heard beeps. There my son in the background trying to sneak out the door. I see the front door open still. Alright, so... Okay, it's moving really slow. I see it. Let me try the deck. Yep, yeah, see it. It's moving. Okay, 
so I think you up the speed by that little button there. Oh, look at that in the cool. That's jamming. So quiet. So belty. That's awesome. So I still don't know if I have the tension right on these things. Uh, I'll ask my buddy Dan when he uh, gets a free second. But for now, I'm kind of digging it. All right, just checking it out, making sure it's working. This is using the Sync Scan app. Sync Scan app on my tablet. So, go to function seems to work. I we'll have to test it out uh, outside. See what happens. I dig it. Yeah.